Hello, I'm Brian Nolan, President of East Tennessee State University. It is my honor and privilege to welcome you to our campus. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate each of you, to congratulate you on your accomplishments, to congratulate you on your decision to attend college, but most importantly, to congratulate you on joining our family, our family at East Tennessee State University. You'll find in time that this is an amazing institution. We have everything that you're looking for, from athletics to academics to cultural opportunities, but you have to take advantage of those opportunities. I encourage you to get engaged. I encourage you to get involved. Join a club, join a student organization, take time to attend one of our athletic events. Enjoy the life of the mind. In time, you will find that your years here on campus are the most memorable years of your life. You'll make friends that will last a lifetime. You will create opportunities that will change your life and the life of those to come. Enjoy your time on campus, and I look forward to seeing you in four years when you walk across the stage and receive your degree. We expect success at East Tennessee State University, not only of ourselves, but from you as students. I congratulate you on your successes to date, and I look forward to your successes to come. Best wishes and Godspeed. This segment will include information on advisement, the Academic Resource Center, Desire to Learn, or D2L, and the library. Each of these areas are important to your academic success while enrolled at ETSU. Let's start with advisement. Advisement at ETSU is a continuous interactive process between the advisor and student which facilitates the development and achievement of the student's overall goals. A successful relationship between an advisor and student depends upon shared responsibility. An academic advisor is a faculty or staff member of the academic department to which you are majoring in. Advisors are available to assist you with academic counseling and scheduling of classes, as well as provide mentoring, advice, referrals, and information to help students make wise, informed decisions. You will have the opportunity to meet with an academic advisor when you attend on-ground orientation. If you have questions after orientation, you may contact your advisor by phone or email at any time. Your relationship with your advisor is important to your success at ETSU. You should consult with your academic advisor each semester and especially before making decisions that may affect your academic progress and success. Most students are required to consult with an advisor before registering each semester. The following students must be advised before they are able to register. All students who have less than 60 earned credits. First term at ETSU transfer students are required to meet with an advisor prior to registration for their first and second term of enrollment. Students who have been readmitted are required to meet with an advisor prior to registration their first term back at ETSU. Students who have not declared or who are required to complete learning support in reading or writing are required to see an advisor in the University Advisement Center located in the Advisement Resources Career Center or the ARC located on the second level of the DP Culp University Center. Note, some academic departments require advisement every semester. Advisement holds appear in gold link before registration begins each semester. Locating your advisor is simple. For students who have declared a major, you should see an advisor in that major. You can click on the link on the bottom of the page in order to find contact information for each department. If you are unsure of your advisor, you should contact the Advisement Resource Center for additional information by clicking the link below. If you are a transfer student at ETSU, you will want to make sure to check your transfer evaluation in GoldLink to ensure you are aware of the classes that have transferred to ETSU. We will go into more detail about GoldLink later in launch. If you have any questions about your transfer work or would like to have any of your work reviewed, please visit the Advisement Resources and Career Center on the second floor of the DP Culp University Center. Make sure you remember that you are ultimately responsible for their academic decisions, including course selection, meeting prerequisites, and adhering to policies, procedures, and deadlines at ETSU. Advisement Resources and Career Center, or the ARC. If you don't know where to go, go to the ARC. The ARC is the Advisement Resources and Career Center located on the second floor of the DP Culp University Center. The ARC houses professional advisors, career counselors, career and internship services, scholarship office, and more. The ARC is user-friendly so that students can access advisement, career and support services without ever leaving the facility. 
The ARC serves as a primary resource for students who have a variety of needs, including those who are entering the university for the first time, those that are unsure about an academic major or career option, and those who wish to take advantage of various academic services to enhance their classroom learning. The goal of the ARC is to assist you in succeeding at ETSU, so if you don't know where to go, go to the ARC. Let me chat with you briefly about graduation. I know that seems like a long way away, however it will be here before you know it and we want you to exceed in getting there. Make sure you review your graduation requirements each semester. Talk with your advisor and file your intent to graduate form two semesters before you graduate, usually once you complete 90 hours. This will give you two semesters to make sure you meet all of the requirements for graduation. You must meet a minimum of 120 hours in order to graduate from ETSU. You must have a minimum of 30 hours completed at ETSU, a minimum of 50 hours from a four-year institution, and you must meet the required ETSU GPA of 2.0 and meet the computer proficiency by completing CSCI 1100 or taking the proficiency exam. The academic catalog is also a very important resource for you to be aware of. The catalog is an academic resource updated each academic year that contains detailed information about academic majors, degree programs, academic colleges, academic regulations, financial aid, student advisement, and other important academic information. Included within the catalog are the general education requirements. General education requirements are courses chosen from various subject areas which are required of all students as part of their undergraduate program. The program is designed to help students acquire a broad base of knowledge and capabilities fundamental to the concept of a university education. To view the academic catalog, click the A to Z index on the ETSU homepage, then select C and Catalogs. Select the undergraduate catalog and then the catalog year you are wishing to view. Here you can view the full catalog. Navigation tools on the left hand side will allow you to view specific aspects of the catalog including colleges, school and departments, an A to Z program list, degree and graduation requirements, general education requirements, and institutional policies and procedures as well as other useful information. One key policy you should be aware of and become familiar with is the ETSU Academic Integrity Policy as well as the Honor Code and Honor Pledge. These are applicable to all students and are based on ETSU value statements which focus on people, relationships, and diversity. By enrolling in ETSU, students are expected to abide by the Honor Code and Honor Pledge. The Honor Code states, East Tennessee State University is committed to developing the intellect, and ethical behavior of its students. Students found to be in violation of policies on plagiarism, cheating, and or fabrication will be held accountable for their actions. Any knowledge of academic misconduct should be reported. The Honor Pledge reads, I pledge to act with honesty, integrity, and civility in all matters. Violations of the Honor Code for plagiarism, cheating, and or fabrication are referred to the college dean where the violation occurred. Penalties for academic misconduct vary with the seriousness of the offense, but can include suspension or expulsion for the most grievous acts. At the end of launch, you will be asked to confirm your understanding and agreement to abide by the ETSU Honor Code at all times. Additional resources can be found in the Policy and Procedures section of the University Catalog. Sexual Misconduct, Title IX, and Violence Against Women Act. Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex in any federally funded education program or activity. Title IX also covers sexual violence and reminds schools of their responsibility to take immediate and effective steps to respond to sexual violence. VAWA stands for the Violence Against Women's Act and it addresses and prohibits acts of violence motivated by gender and clarifies the rights of complainants in sexual assault domestic violence, dating violence, or stalking on university campuses. Both Title IX and VAWA legislation allow ETSU to take immediate and strong action to help both complainants and respondents in cases of sexual misconduct. As a new member of the university community, you will be asked to complete some additional training about sexual misconduct prior to your first semester. We encourage you to visit the ETSU Violence Free website to educate yourself about on and off campus resources and reporting options as well as definitions for consent, dating and domestic violence, stalking, 
sexual assault, and rape. Tobacco-Free Campus Policy Effective August 11th, 2008, ETSU is a tobacco-free campus, with smoking and all other tobacco usage permitted only inside of private vehicles. This policy applies to all university buildings and grounds, ETSU-affiliated off-campus locations and clinics, any buildings owned, leased, or rented by ETSU in all other areas, and ECSU facilities located on the campus of James H. Quillen Veterans Affairs Medical Center at Mountain Home. Tobacco use is also prohibited in all state vehicles. This tobacco-free policy is in effect 24 hours a day, year-round. For purposes of this policy, Tobacco use means, but is not limited to, the personal use of any tobacco product, whether intended to be lit or not, which shall include smoking tobacco or other substances that are lit and smoked, as well as the use of an electronic cigarette or any other device intended to simulate smoking and the use of smokeless tobacco, including snuff, chewing tobacco, smokeless pouches, any form of loose leaf smokeless tobacco, and the use of unlit cigarettes, cigars, and pipe tobacco. Academic Alert To help new students get off to a good start in college, ETSU's Academic Alert program asks faculty members to notify us if a freshman student is not attending class regularly, has lower than expected grades on tests or assignments, or shows other signs that he or she might need assistance, then our staff will reach out to these students with encouragement and guidance. If one of your instructors wants us to contact you, you will receive an email or a phone call asking you to contact your advisor immediately. You and your advisor will talk about what's happening and find solutions to your problems. If you would benefit from one of ETSU's many student services, your advisor will connect you with the right resources. ETSU's Academic Alert Program is here for you. If we reach out to you, please get in touch with us. When you start classes here at ETSU, one of the first things you will hear is the acronym D2L or Desire to Learn. D2L is an online course manager and every semester your course load will be in D2L. This goes for students who are taking classes at ETSU, at a distant cohort, or online. Many professors will be using D2L to upload assignments, readings, and extra materials for class. D2L is also a place for professors to give exams and quizzes, as well as post grades for tests and assignments. If you are an online student, all of your coursework will be done through D2L. Don't be overwhelmed. Your professors will go through their expectations when it comes to D2L, typically within the first week. Your D2L course sites will become available on the first day of class each semester. It is your responsibility to check into your course site on the first day of class, and some professors may even make the course site available earlier. It is important to remember to log into D2L every day to ensure that you don't get behind in your schoolwork. Your D2L login is your domain, username, and password. Let me show you how to use D2L. In order to access D2L, go to elearn.etsu.edu. Once there, enter your username and password, which is the same information you use to log into your ETSU email. In the left column, you will find your personal preferences. Here you can edit and view your personal information. Directly below your personal preference is the contact information for the ITS Help Desk. In the middle column, you will find existing news updates as well as your courses for the current semester. If your instructor chooses to use D2L, click the course link for the course information. In the right column, you will find helpful links to frequently used ETSU sites. To log out, click Log Out in the right corner. You may follow the link below to find additional resources and details regarding D2L. Library. Want to succeed in your classes? Share Library can help take the guesswork out of finding the right sources for your assignments. You can access our online catalog either on or off campus to discover relevant books and media for class assignments. Use our databases, which are also available on or off campus, to find appropriate articles. Your professor will thank you for this. You discover the perfect book or article for your paper, but our library doesn't own it. Don't worry, you can request that the library borrow items from another library for you through its interlibrary loan service. Don't know where to begin? You can always chat, text, email, call, or visit our Information Commons for help. With resources and a staff dedicated to helping you be successful, why would you not use Shared Library? Charles C. Shared Library is a central library located on the main campus with numerous study rooms and lounges, computers, copiers, and printers, ETSU students will find Shared Library to be highly functioning and accommodating. The Shared Library also houses a 24-hour study room for late nights and an Einstein Brothers bagel shop. 
The library also holds the Center for Academic Achievement, which is where you should go for assistance with writing, public speaking, math, science, or general education courses. The center offers tutoring on a walk-in and appointment basis. The CFAA also houses the testing center and is open during library hours. Shared Library has an online catalog with over 800,000 items. Materials in the collection are in print, digital, and streaming formats. Access to thousands of online books covering a broad range of subjects is available through the catalog. If we don't have the book you are looking for, we can borrow it through interlibrary loan from another library. The library subscribes to over 100 databases, many with full text articles. You will use these articles for your assignments and research projects. One search found on the homepage for Shared Library is like Google. It's a way to search the many library databases all at once. Student Life in this segment, we will take a look at how you can get involved on campus, and in the same manner, you will discover that being an active participant in campus life is significant to your college success. Research shows that students who are active on campus do better academically, and they are often more likely to stay in school and graduate. But that's not the only reason to be involved. Going to campus events, joining a student organization, living or working on campus, and just taking advantage of the great opportunities available can help you develop new skills, make new friends, and build your resume for the future. Not to mention, getting involved can be a lot of fun. It's really easy to get involved at ETSU. You can visit the Student Organization Resource Center or the Source Office located on the first floor of the D.P. Culp University Center. It's called the source because it truly is the source for all of your student involvement needs. The staff in the source is available to help you find an opportunity that interests you. With literally hundreds of student activities each year and over 200 student organizations on campus, there is something to engage everyone, including athletic clubs, academic and professional organizations, campus programming and concerts, community service programs, faith-based groups, fraternities and sororities, multicultural organizations, residence life, student government, and student publications. Reading the East Tennessean ETSU student-led newspaper can help you find all sorts of information and opportunities to get involved. To learn more about all of the events and student groups available, you can visit our website, which you can find the link at below, or simply call or come by the source anytime. CPA. The Wayne G. Baszler Center for Physical Activity, also known as the CPA, is a 120,000 square foot facility that was built by and currently operates on student activities fees and is staffed by ETSU student workers. The CPA facility includes basketball and volleyball courts, weight and cardio rooms, aerobics, indoor cycling, martial arts and yoga studios, racquetball and squash courts, indoor and outdoor climbing walls, an indoor track, a swimming pool, a multi-purpose room with table tennis, and locker rooms. Athletics. ETSU athletics play an important role on our campus. You may be asking yourself, why should I bleed blue and gold? ETSU students should feel a sense of pride when they walk into an ETSU sporting event. While cheering on their team, their classmates, students should be overwhelmed with blue and gold pride. ETSU athletic games are always very exciting, whether it's cheering on one of our basketball teams in Freedom Hall or our soccer teams at Summers Taylor Stadium. Since you chose ETSU to be your home away from home, choose to support our men's and women's athletic teams. It means a lot to a student athlete to know other students support them. By attending athletic events, not only will you be part of an extracurricular event, you will also show pride and be a part of the tradition at ETSU while forming friendships and memories along the way. Housing. You may be asking yourself, why live on campus? Living on campus is strongly encouraged because it provides students with many of the conveniences of independent living, but has the advantages of being in close proximity to resources for learning, staff support, and safety features that contribute to student success. Some of the benefits of living on campus include, residents can serve time and money by living where they learn. Live-in support staff are available to assist residents day and night. Facilities, amenities, and services that complement and support your academic goals. 
National statistics indicate that students living on campus do better academically and persist on to graduation as well as get more involved on campus in student leadership positions. Students may take advantage of leadership opportunities within the residence halls, including living learning communities, employment as a residence life staff member, or involvement in residence life governance. Housing assignments are made on a first-come, first-served basis. Therefore, an application and deposit should be submitted as soon as possible. Fall assignments begin in March and continue all summer. Spring assignments begin in December. Applications may be obtained by visiting the housing website below. Your housing assignment and a link to accept your housing agreement will be emailed to your gold mail account. Your housing agreement obligates you to pay rent for both fall and spring semesters if you are enrolled at ETSU. If you have already applied, remember to check your gold mail accounts often. This is how our department as well as the rest of the university will be in contact with you. ETSU offers a variety of convenient, safe, attractive, and affordable options in on-campus housing. These include traditional residence halls, suite style and private bathrooms, or fully equipped efficiency and two-bedroom apartments. No matter which option you choose, students enjoy the value and benefits of living in the middle of campus life and the convenience of having all utilities cable, and high-speed internet in one affordable, all-inclusive price. Living on campus is your opportunity to engage in leadership experiences and personal development opportunities for a lifetime. Student Health Services ETSU cares about your health and well-being. The services that are provided include the Student Health Clinic, Counseling Center, Disability Services, a Dental Hygiene Clinic, and Audiology and Speech Language Pathology Clinics. ETSU cares about your health and well-being. The services that are provided include the Student Health Clinic, Counseling Center, Disability Services, a Dental Hygiene Clinic, and Audiology and Speech-Language Pathology Clinics. A physician is also available for consultation and referrals. The Student Health Clinic is located on the main campus in Nix Hall and is staffed by nurse practitioners, physicians, registered nurses, a certified medical assistant, and a health educator. Students are advised to call the Student Health Clinic early in the day in order to schedule a same-day appointment with the nurse practitioner. The services offered at the Student Health Center include women's health, men's health, STD screenings, immunization clinic, laboratory services, referrals and health education, including information regarding nutrition, smoking cessation, alcohol awareness, and sexual health education. Students are not charged for visits to the clinic, but there are charges for medication, lab tests, pap smears, and individual procedures. It is very important that you look into immunization requirements. All students should verify and show proof of the following. Persons born in 1957 or later must provide proof that they have received two MMRs, proof they have received two varicella or chickenpox vaccines, or physician signed documentation of immunity. They must complete the hepatitis B and meningitis form. And if you are over 18, you will sign this at the time of registration. And any student under the age of 22 living in campus housing must provide medical documentation that they have received the meningococcal vaccine within the past five years. Please visit the Student Health website for more information. The Counseling Center mission is to promote mental health, personal growth, and positive relationships within the ETSU community. We achieve the mission by providing an array of mental health, career, education, and outreach services. The Counseling Center is located on the third floor of the D.P. Culp University Center. Disability Services is also located on the third floor of the D.P. Culp University Center. Disability Services provides and promotes an accessible environment. They have services for all types of disabilities, including learning disabilities, hearing and visual impairments, orthopedic and mobility impairment, mental health related disabilities, and medical disabilities. Are you worried you may have a cavity? If so, you can visit our dental hygiene clinic located in Lamb Hall. Initial appointments provide the patient with a thorough patient assessment after which the patient will be assigned to a student for cleaning at a later date. Services include dental cleaning, dental charting, as well as various other services. Lastly, ETSU offers a speech-language hearing clinic which provides services to individuals in the community and students with a variety of communication difficulties. This clinic is located in Lamb Hall.
During this segment, we tried to give you a taste of campus life. Hopefully, this introduction to campus life will help you to get involved in some of the wonderful opportunities we have on campus. And remember, getting involved on campus is a great way to meet new people and perhaps discover something new about yourself. Campus Services This segment will include information on the bookstore, public safety, dining services, parking, ID services, gold link so you know how to register for classes, and gold mail, all of which will assist you in making a smooth transition. Let's start with financial aid. To apply for financial aid, submit your free application for federal student aid online at www.fafsa.gov. Be sure to check the results of your FAFSA to see if you were selected for verification. If selected, be sure to submit all required documents as soon as possible. The following are important dates for you to be aware of. April 15th, priority date to have your FAFSA filed, verification complete, all corrections made, and file ready to award for fall semester. June 1st, all awards on GoldLink must be accepted or declined and all student requirements must be received and complete for aid to be ready when fall classes begin. Check your My Financial Aid Info tab on GoldLink frequently. Use the GoldLink Guide to Financial Aid to complete your financial aid process. Be sure to confirm your registration or complete the ETSU promise to pay on your GoldLink account, if eligible, by the fee payment deadline each semester. Visit our website below for more information or questions. ETSU offers a number of scholarships to new and currently enrolled students. Scholarships are awarded by the ETSU Scholarship Office, the ETSU Honors College, and by academic colleges or departments. Most of the scholarship application deadlines have already passed for this coming fall. However, you can find out more by visiting our website below. Bookstore we have two bookstores to assist you in getting all you will need to start your journey here at ETSU. The main campus store is located on the second floor of the DP Culp University Center. The second bookstore, called Nebo, is located behind McDonald's on West Walnut Street. All bookstores offer textbooks, general books, school supplies, sportswear, and many other products and services to make you a true buccaneer. Let me provide you with a few tips on buying or renting books and supplies. The best time to buy or rent books is between August 1st and the first day of classes, and you can rent or buy books online at the bookstore website located below. You may purchase your books online and have them shipped to your home or office or pick them up in store. At the end of each semester, you may sell your books back to the bookstore and hopefully walk away with some money in hand. The Public Safety Office is located at 1043 Jack Vest Drive, the west side of the parking garage, third floor, above the Welcome Center. Public Safety Officers patrol the campus 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. ETSU Public Safety Officers have all the police powers necessary to enforce all state laws, as well as the rules and regulations of ETSU's governing body, the Tennessee Board of Regents. ETSU offers several services and programs to assist and promote the creation of a safe campus environment. ETSU provides emergency phones located throughout the campus with a direct line to ETSU public safety officers. Also, there is a campus escort service called Safe Voyage that enables you to call for someone to go with you to your car or across campus late at night. ETSU offers the Gold Alert system, which includes campus emails, sirens, emergency announcements, and a text alert service. You should sign up for Gold Alert as soon as possible. By doing so, you will receive Gold Alert text messages and announcements in the event of an emergency or school closure. Sign up by visiting the ETSU Gold Alert homepage, which you can access from the link below. Please be aware that illegal substances and alcohol are not permitted on campus. Each incident will be handled by public safety and the appropriate legal and campus actions will be taken. To report a crime, call 911 for all emergencies and for non-emergencies, call public safety at 423-439-4480. The ETSU Counseling Center provides outreach and advocacy sexuality information for students, or OASIS, which is a program designed to raise awareness of positive relationship dynamics and healthy sexuality. OASIS also helps students who have been directly affected by sexual violence by providing a safe, confidential atmosphere in which survivors can discuss their experiences and explore their options about medical treatment and legal action. 
In an effort to reduce the number of sexual-based crimes, we encourage everyone to complete the Sexual Harassment Prevention Program online so you will be able to recognize and respond in an effective way in regards to sexual crimes. All services and campus crime statistics are available at the website below. Whether you are living on campus or commuting, ETSU Dining Services offer meal plans to fit every student's lifestyles. Meal plans provide the most economical way to eat on campus. Here is how they work. Meal plans provide you with a specific number of meals at the marketplace that you can use throughout the semester, plus dining dollars to use at all campus dining locations. Dining dollars spent just like cash can be used at convenience stores and national brands and are tax free. Don't have a meal plan? You can load dining dollars onto your campus ID card at any time. Please contact Dining Services for more information. ETSU Dining Services offers a variety of dining options conveniently located around campus. Some of your favorite nationally recognized brands including Chick-fil-A, Einstein Brothers Bagels, Quiznos, Starbucks, Subway, Taco Bell, and an all-you-care-to-eat dining call in the marketplace. Our dining location hours of operation are designed to fit your lifestyle from early morning breakfast and afternoon snacks to late night munchies. ETSU Dining Services has it all. There are several dining areas located throughout the DP Culp Center. The Marketplace, our all-you-care-to-eat restaurant, is located on the third floor of the DP Culp University Center and includes a variety of foods from all over the world. The Atrium Food Court, located on the second floor of the DP Culp Center, is the place to grab food that you love quickly and on the go. Chick-fil-A, Field of Greens, Quiznos, and Taco Bell are student favorites in this location. The Buck Mart is one of our four on-campus convenience stores with a grab-and-go food selection that includes salads, sandwiches, parfaits, and fruit cups, as well as snacks and health and beauty items. The Buck Mart is located on the second floor of the DP Culp University Center behind Taco Bell. On the first floor of the Culp Center is The Cave, featuring Starbucks, a favorite location to study or catch up with friends. And that's not all. The Treehouse, a grab-and-go convenience store, features bottled beverages, sandwiches, fruit cups, and other convenience products. The Treehouse is located in the quad between Brooks Gym and Ball Hall. A smoothie bar called Freshens is located in the Basler Center for Physical Activity, better known as the CPA. Freshens Smoothie Bar features quick and healthy options. An Einstein Brothers Bagel Cafe is located in the Shared Library. This cafe offers Einstein's darn good coffee, fresh baked bagels, muffins, and many other treats as well as grab-and-go sandwiches and salads. The Buck Stop is located in Centennial Hall on the second floor. This location services those students coming from the east side of campus. Our Mini Mart features grab-and-go food options. And last but not least, the newest locations to our campus are the Subway and Pod markets located on the second floor of the parking garage. ETSU Dining Services make dining on campus easy. All students who intend to park a motor vehicle, automobiles, motorcycles, or motorized scooters on campus must properly display the appropriate parking permit. Parking permit fees are included in the campus access fee for students. Here are some tips to avoid parking tickets on campus. Make sure to acquire a parking permit from ETSU Parking Services. Carefully read instructions on how and where to display your parking permit on your vehicle. Become familiar with all parking regulations to understand and avoid the most common violations. Student parking areas are marked with gold on the curb and or with signs. There are also lots marked as undesignated parking which can be used by faculty, staff, and students. Pay close attention to signs that are posted with time limits or at meters. If your time expires, you may be ticketed. If you receive a parking ticket, contact the ETSU Parking Services Office to resolve the matter. ETSU Parking Services is located at 132 Stout Drive at the main University Parkway entrance to campus. The building is situated in front of Centennial Hall and features a drive through window for your convenience. You may also contact the office by phone at 423-439-5650 or by email at parking at etsu.edu. In order to access the ETSU parking map, click on the A to Z index on the ETSU homepage and select the letter M. Then choose Maps from the list provided. You may also go to the Parking Services homepage at www.etsu.edu forward slash parking and choose the Maps tab on the left-hand side of the page. 
On the interactive campus map, go to the box labeled Step 1 and choose the campus where you will be parking. Then choose Student in the box labeled Parking at the bottom of the map. Student parking areas will then be highlighted in gold. Campus Map Here you will find a map of main campus. We encourage you to use our interactive map by visiting www.etsu forward slash maps. This will assist you in getting familiar with campus before you come to visit or start classes. ID Services Your university ID card is your gateway to everything ETSU. You must obtain an official ETSU ID card in order to have full access to university facilities and services. Your ID card not only provides student identification, but will also allow access to shared library services, door access to residence halls, Basler Center for Physical Activity, computer labs, and selected classrooms. Use your ID card to access meal plans and obtain tickets to athletic and special concert events. Students may also choose to create an ETSU debit account called ID Bucks. ID Bucks is a safe and convenient way to store your money. You may use ID Bucks in the campus bookstore, all food service locations, laundry facilities and residence halls, student health clinic, shared library fees, the post office, bursar office fees, and vending machines located throughout campus. ID Bucks are also accepted at several unique off-campus merchants. The easiest way to make a deposit is by visiting the link below, but you can also do it by mail, phone, or the Campus ID Services office. You will have your picture taken at orientation and will receive your ID the same day or after you have registered for classes. If you need help or have any questions or concerns, please stop by the ID Services office located on the second level of the DP Culp University Center. GoldLink is your portal to everything ETSU. This is where you will register for classes, check your financial aid information, pay institutional bills, and request academic transcripts in addition to many other useful services. In order to access GoldLink, select the GoldLink tab on the ETSU homepage. Log in using your e-number and password. A short tutorial about how to register for classes will be provided at the end of launch.